Hello, my name is Josiah Ray, and I'm going to show you how to build scheduled tasks in Java using a timer. So here we are inside of NetBeans, the preferred IDE for developing Java applications. And you can see we have a very simple form here with a panel that's got a colored background. And all I want to do is have that color change automatically based on a time. Um, but we're going to use a click to kind of kick it off. So I'm going to run that real quick so you can see. And we're going to click on it, and it should take about three seconds. And there you go, it changes to red. And so I created a schedule task for that to happen on a delay of three seconds. So let's take a look at the code. The first thing that you have to do is do a lot of imports. We're going to import the uh, utility timer and the Java utility timer task. I'm also importing color and graphics just because the task I'm performing is altering the color and graphics of a panel. So down here to the panel click event. Just before it, I define um, my timer variable as a, a new timer, but I'm since it's outside of this event, it's a global variable, so I can access it whenever. Inside of here, I'm going to just, it's, very, it's actually a pretty simple command. It's your variable, so in this case, timer.schedule equals new, and then the name of your schedule. The name of this schedule um, depends on, on how you make it. I'm creating a new class actually inside of this class, and it's name is change color, and it extends timer task. So I'm making a new class of timer tasks, and its name is change color. That's what allows me to use this inside of the uh, create a new schedule command. So coming down into the class, you need this uh, public void run event, and this is kind of a kind of a standard. Let me quickly fix that. This is this run event. Uh, you don't need to reference or uh, name anything special. It Java will automatically recognize that is what needs to happen when the timer expires. And so we're, all we're doing inside of it is we're changing the background color of the panel and we're setting it to red. But back to the new schedule task, this time here at the end, or this number 3000, that's the delay in milliseconds for how long it's going to take the time to execute, or the scheduled task to execute. So it looks like a big number, but bear in mind it is in milliseconds, so you have to kind of convert that in your head when you're, you want it to be five minutes or 10 minutes or something like that. It's gonna be quite a large number. All right, that's about it. I hope you have enjoyed watching this tutorial on how to create scheduled tasks using Java. I'm Josiah Ray.